I'm not gonna screw up. I'm not gonna screw up. I'm not gonna screw up. I'm gonna do it right this time because I can't fucking edit the video because I'm a noob. Hey guys, Captain Coots, and this is the first official video of my Fallout 4 um, modding case study for mutations. And today we're gonna focus on um, working on building our skills. We're going to be moving through basically in difficulty how to add various mutations. Today we're going to add two mutations, uh, Egghead and Scaly Skin, because those rely on existing magical effects and just using them. So there's nothing custom that we're going to have to do as far as the abilities are concerned. So it could be relatively straightforward. Um, I will show you guys how to build the perks that will act as the mutations, how to build up abilities and the whatnot so that they are attached to that perk and then we'll test it in game. And this is like the fourth time I've shot this video because I keep screwing up, but um, uh, hopefully this time it'll be fine. Okay, normally I like to open up my creation kit through Mod Organizer just because it has everything built in there, but um, with some scripting stuff sometimes it's a pain in the ass, so I've just booted it up separately outside of Mod Organizer. Okay, and uh, just to show you, I've made all the DLC that are the Nuka World, Coast, and Robot, um, I've made those masters because they might offer me some sort of a perk that I want to look at or an ability I want to look at, etc, etc, etc. Okay, now the mutations, if we've played the game before, perks kind of make sense, right? Because they put something on the player and that has some sort of effects. Now we normally know the perks that we select from the perk chart, but all sorts of stuff give us perks that we don't actually ever um, see on the perk chart and they'll show up in our pip boy maybe under effects or something like that. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to click new and we're going to build the two perks that we're after here, okay? And so I'm going to use my prefix of coots, all right? And let's go ahead and do egg head. This is the egg head mutation. Okay, and under the description I'm going to put uh, gain six intelligence at the cost of three strength, I lost my fingers, and endurance. I didn't lose my fingers, they're right here, whatever. Okay, so this right now is all we're going to do to set up the perk so far. I'm going to hit OK. And while we're here, let's go ahead and set up the scaly skin. Coots, scaly skin. I don't know why I can't say that normally. Scaly skin mutation. Under the description, we gain 50 uh, damage and energy woo, resistance at the cost of 50 action points. Okay, great. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, cool. Now, like I said up here, boom, we're using existing magic effects. I like how I look over here to make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. It's up. Okay, so what are magic effects? Why is there magic in this game? It's essentially the same game as Skyrim, okay? Uh, so if we go to the magic heading and we click on magic effects, we see that there are a whole bunch of different effects that can be put on a player. And they all have sort of different meanings and purposes and the whatnot that we want to make sure that we can kind of understand a little bit, okay? The ones that we are going to focus on are the ones that start with A, B. The A, B is short for ability, okay? And so these are things that are placed onto a character. They don't fade off. They can't be cured off or what have you. They are like sort of like permanent feature of that character or individual. Now, you can't just slap a magic effect on somebody, obviously. They have to drink a potion or you have to cast a spell, or they have to be enchanted. Those are the three things. So we have like enchantments, potions, and spells, okay? Enchantments are associated with gear. Potions are associated with things that you consume. Spells, that's what we're gonna be looking for. Now you might say, there are no spells. There are a variety of different ways that things can get cast, and most of them are just sort of automatic. They are cast when uh, certain conditions are met, and la di da you gain the ability. So this is what we're going to use. I'm gonna right click and go to new, Right click anywhere on the right there, it'll open up eventually. All right? Coots. And I'm going to use the nomenclature A, B here. Egghead. So this is the ability for egghead. So I'm going to go egghead spell. All right? Under type, we want to make sure we select ability. And what should be read is constant effect, self, none, either hand, none. Those don't change. Don't change them. 
okay? I'm going to look at my effects here and right click and go new, and this is where we get an effect item. These are our magical effects. Now, the first ability in Egghead is that you gain six intelligence, all right? Now, if I just click here, I get a full list, and I immediately see Fortify down here. All right, and this is the one that we're after. We see Fortify Agility. Cool, but I want to Fortify Intelligence. Is it here? Oh, it is. I'm going to click on that. Now, two things that I'm going to look for here. Area and duration should both be grayed out that I cannot edit them. That means this magic effect does not affect anyone else, just a single target, us. The duration should be zero seconds and grayed out, which means I cannot put a duration in there for how long this is going to last. It is a forever thing, okay? Magnitude, we should be able to edit. How much intelligence do we need to gain? Six, and press okay. Now, what you might be tempted to do now for the minus three strength and minus three intelligence is to fortify, fortify strength by negative three. Don't do that. Okay, it is a harmful effect and we want it to sort of be treated as such by all things. Okay, so we look through here and we have reduce. All right, that's the opposite of fortify in our system of talking words. So reduce endurance. How much are we going to reduce endurance by? Three. Area and duration are grayed out. Awesome. Press OK. And then we need to reduce strength. So let's find the A, B, reduce <coughs> strength right there. How much? Three, please and click OK. This spell is set up. So a spell is activated. It gives us these magic effects. How do we cast that spell now? That's a very good question. Let's go back to the perk. Let's go ahead and type in coots under the filter here so that we just get our things and let's double click on egghead. All right. Now, I didn't really talk much about the structure of this window here and it's blocked by the using existing magical effects. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we have our DNA name, great. Icon sound and SWF. These things are associated with what it looks like in various menus or in our pit boy. We will edit a bunch of those later. Okay, uh, we want to make sure level is zero. That means it's the first rank of this perk. How many ranks? We always want one because we only have one rank of immutation. Okay, there's no next perk. This doesn't change into anything. We don't have any level up menu conditions because this doesn't show up in our chart. Okay. Perk entries and scripts. This is where we can define what this perk is doing. Either it can activate a script and do things, or what are perk entries? Let's just click new and see what happens. Okay, so we've got this various structure here. Okay, here you can define the rank and priority, etc. Don't bother with that. That's if you have multiple perk entries, we can talk about that later. Okay, quest, we're not really going to be screwing around with. Um, but this is where if your perk does something on a quest, we would do that here. Entry point is something we will mess around with later. We're looking for ability, which should sound familiar. That A, B in the spell there, ability. <laughs> if I click here and type coots, I see the A, B egghead, my egghead spell. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK. So now what happens is if you get this perk, it activates the coots egghead spell, which casts the magic effect on you to give you six intelligence, minus three strength, and minus three endurance. Click OK. That mutation's done. Okay, let's hit save. All right, let's call it F76 mutations. Cool. So let's do scaly skin now. We need a spell. New. Okay. Uh, click ID here. Coots AB scaly skin. Scaly skin spell. I should probably call it ability, but whatever. Okay. Ta-da. Now we need the various effects that this ability does to us. Okay. So I'm going to right click and go to new. And okay, let's think here. Damage and energy resistance go up. So those are probably fortify. Now I don't see fortify D. There's no damage there. No E crap. Oh, but there's resist. Fortify resistances for damage and energy and all kinds of stuff. But those are the ones we're interested in. So I want to fortify my damage resistance by 50. Click OK. New. And I want to fortify my energy resistance by 50. And go ahead and double check that the area and duration of both of these is grayed out. So it's exactly the type that we want. Click OK. All right. Last bit of scaly skin is we have to reduce our action points by 50. So it's not a fortify. It's probably a reduce. Ha! A, B, reduce action points. Awesome. Click it. I want that to be 50, and I'm going to hit OK. 
we've got everything wrapped up in here nice and neat okay we can click OK and then we have our spell here the ability go back to the perk open it up go to perk entry select new and it's an ability type in our prefix which is another great reason to have them so it makes going through big lists easy a b scaly skin hit OK and hit OK and hit save holy shit we just created our very first two mutations okay i'm going to go to mod organizer 2 and i'm going to make sure it is checked ready to use it is okay i'm going to go to f4se not that i need it and hit run okay i've created a little save file where i'm just in a spot ready to add these perks to myself so that i can be mutated so we're going to load that up okay Please stand by. <sighs> Hint. Okay. Well, actually, no, I, I could just go load because I made the save. Derp. Mutations test right there. Spent one minute in game total. Hex. Yeah, I know mods are loaded. No shit. We're modding. Okay. Getting a streamlined 60 FPS while in a menu. While some model is not being loaded. This takes too long. I want it to be instant. Why did I put this game on my SSD? I don't know. I need a bigger SSD. Donate money to me to give me a new SSD. Um, anyway. Eventually this will load. What my test character is, is it's level 1, as you can see, which is a little bit of XP. And all of my special stats are 4. Okay, wow, okay, cool. It took that long to open up a riffle. Look at that riffle. Ooh, as I move it, I lose frames. Okay, should get a nice smooth 30 FPS in game because I'm using OBS. Yes, we are. Okay, let's take a peeky peek at the character. Okay, 100 HP, 100 AP, no damage resistance, 5 energy resistance, 10 radiation resistance. My specials are all fours and I have no perks. Okay. Here's how we're going to add the perks. This is just for testing, okay? Eventually, we'll build the system to add mutations, but we're not doing that right now, okay? So first, I'm going to do help egg for perk. Oop, there it is. Player.add perk 0A004C50. Bloop. And I should say added perk egghead mutation to mutant tester with rank 1. Bam. As we can see in our perks thing, ta-da, it shows up. If we don't want it to show up here, we can change some things so that it doesn't show up, but I think it's it's, it's informative to have it there so that people know, okay? And you can see there's no icon here like there's a lot of other perks. It's fine. And there's the description we typed, okay? Now, we should already notice that my HP has gone down. Let's look at my specials. Huh. Strength is 1. Endurance is 1. Intelligence is 10. So intelligence has gone up by 6, and the other two have been reduced by 3. I have a screaming baby upstairs. I was just seeing if he was opening the mic. So egghead seems to work. Help Scaly for perk. Player dot add perk. Zero 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 four C five one. We've now added Scaly skin. My AP has gone down to fifty now which is minus 50 from 100. And I've gained 50 in both of those categories. Remember, I had five energy resistance ahead of time. So congratulations. We made mutations that worked, okay? So stick around for later videos where we built some other things and learn some more stuff, okay? I gotta go see what's wrong with the baby.